text all of her friends and tell them, make sure that you cannot take her this weekend <laughs> because if she misses the engagement, then we'll have to exactly. plan it again. The first time that I walked into Blakeman's, I just felt very comfortable. Made sure that what I chose would be uh, perfect. She is a pastor's daughter, and so she did not want it at church. I did not. I did not want my proposal to be at church. I told my parents, I was like, anywhere else but church. <laughs> <laughs> what happened was her dad uh, called us up and he prayed over all of us. So of course, like I'm standing up there and In I'm tears, crying. Yes. I'm just I'm praying right. and I'm, you know, thankful that he's up there with us. Right. And my dad's talking and praying over each one of us. Mm -hmm. and not knowing that behind her, her mom pulled out the ring. And she's showing, and she's everyone showing in the, the audience, audience my ring. Yes. And I have no idea that this is going and on. And at this time, all of her friends uh, are coming in. She turns around and she sees nothing but hands like this in the with faces phones. with phones. When she saw one, she was like, Oh my gosh, it's you. I was and, like, You're oh here gosh, and you're here. How I just you kept starting to see mm -hmm. all these people that were all of my friends. Read my, my words to her and got on my knee and proposed to her and asked her to marry me. I feel very proud to mm -hmm. say that it came from Blakeman's. Right. They are a part of my life forever now.